kids, welcome to Camp Kate. Did you know horses are my favorite animal? And today I get to take you to the barn where I ride. And sometimes after I go horseback riding, I get to wash the horse. And I'm gonna show you how to do that too. I am so excited to show you one of my favorite places. There's chickens and goats and all kinds of fun things to see and smell. Just kidding. Are you excited? Because I am. Let's go. <laughs> hey kids, look at this beautiful barn. This is one of my favorite places here in Jupiter, Florida. And today we have a special task. We get to give Hemi, my friend, a bath. Hemi is a horse. He's actually the horse that I get to ride and he is so sweet. I can't wait for you to meet him. But guess what? There are also chickens and goats here, so we're gonna go check them out. We get to feed them this morning, and I am so excited. Come on, let's go. Okay, kids, I'm about to feed these chickens. Can you hear them? Oh my gosh, they're so excited. Are you ready? When I give the signal, the door's gonna open and they're gonna rush out here to get some food. Come here, little chickens. So these are all chickens. The hens are the girls, and the roosters are the boys. And there's a couple roosters in this flock. Oh my goodness, here they come. I'm gonna actually put a little here, see if they see. Oh my gosh, there's so many. Hi. Let's see if they'll, they are hungry. Hello children, it's me, Fun Fact Felicity here. And I wanted to tell you a little something since we're learning about chickens. Did you know hens lay about 150 to 200 eggs per year? That's a lot of dippy eggs. So inside of the coop, there's a nesting box and that's where the hens lay their eggs. I wanna go see if there's maybe any in there today. Let's go. Woo, scared the chickens. I'm so excited to peek in here. I've actually never really looked in one of these nesting boxes before, so let's find it. Oh. There's a chicken in here. And you know what? That is Lucy. Hi, Lucy. Can we look at your eggs? Let's see how many there are. Oh my goodness. Wow. Look at all those eggs. And they're so pretty. And they're different colors. I see there's a couple that have fallen back there. You know what? Let's count and see how many eggs there are. So we've got one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's one over here, eleven, and then there's one back there, twelve eggs. Oh my goodness, and guess what, kids? Twelve makes a dozen. So there are a dozen eggs inside of this coop right now, and this is all from just this morning. I'm gonna pick up this pretty green one right here so we can take a closer look at it. But, wow. It's so pretty. These are some fresh eggs right here. Yummy. Wow. That is so amazing. I mean, really. Okay, here, here we are in the goat house. Look at these cuties. Oh my goodness, I get to feed them this morning. I've never fed goats before. This is gonna be an adventure. Hello. Let's see if they're hungry. So I get to give them two scoops of this grain. And oh my goodness. Hello. These goats are called Nigerian dwarfs. Hello, hello. Oh, and they're hungry. They're so cute. And these are all girls. Give me one more scoop. And I don't know if you know this, but goats love to jump. Let me see if one will eat from my hand. Come here. Oh my goodness, I don't know if you can see your little tongue like lick, licking up the food, but. I know, here I got some more. Oh my goodness, these guys are so sweet. Look at them. 
just eating right out of my hand. Oh my goodness. Hello. You know, my favorite thing about goats are, I don't know if you can see their pupils, which it's the black part of your eye. Theirs are a rectangle and they've adapted like that so that they can kind of see all over the land and they can look out for predators. So it also helps them, you know, jump over rough terrain and be able to move really swift in any direction. But I just think it looks so unique. Oh my gosh, I can't believe they're just eating right out of my hand like this. Wow. I could do this all the time. This is so neat. We just fed some chickens, fed some goats. Right now we get to go get Hemi from his pasture out here. All right. Let's go get cleaned up, shall we? This is a curry comb. It's got all these little grooves and it just helps break up some of the dirt that's stuck in the... I'm just getting some of that dirt loosened up. And you always wanna be careful when you're standing around a horse. You don't wanna stand directly behind it and then they can also kinda of kick out to the side. So, oh, safety first. Okay, there's all kinds of different brushes that you can use while you're cleaning a horse. Some of them um, have harder bristles and that gets like a lot of the dirt out and then others are a little bit softer and that just is for like the fine dirt and if you need to like maybe brush their face a little bit, you can do that and it's a little more gentle. So I just wanted to point out that this hair here on horse, this is called its mane. And we're gonna scrub them up and get them nice and clean. Are you ready? You ready? See, look at that, he's ready. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start I always want to start their hooves and their legs and just get them used to the water temperature before you spray their whole body down. And look at that, he looks nice and relaxed. It's going to be a nice little bath here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wet his whole body first. And when you wash them down, you don't want to forget their legs too, because all this dirt and everything is going to run down their legs. So you always and you're gonna get their tail nice and wet. So I'm gonna, I've got this bucket here. I'm gonna put a little bit of soap just in case we need to dip the sponge and get a little more in there. I'm gonna spray this onto the glove. And you always wanna start at the neck close to his head. And then you're gonna wash back and down because the water and the soap will all run. And this is kind of like a, a massage for the horse. Isn't it? And so what we can do here, if you guys know what shape a circle is, that's exactly what I'm doing on his back here. I'm just making nice big circles. This is so neat. It's like a little mitt that has these grippies. It just helps me scrub. And check this out. We can actually we can do some fun shapes in this soap right here. Maybe let's do, tell me what that shape is. A square. And how about this? And we'll do one more. You guys probably know what that is. A circle. Horses are my favorite animal of all the animals. Alrighty, now that we're done soaping him up and scrubbing him, we're just gonna hose him all down. I'll get his tail a little bit more with the soap, um, but and then we'll condition that after. I'm gonna get your tail.
Let's start rinsing him off, getting the soap off, and you gotta rinse him really, really good because if there's any soap left on him, it'll irritate their skin. So I'm just gonna get this nice and warm, and we're gonna start it again at his feet. I mean, it's not every day you get to wash a horse. I love this. All right, so we just washed him up. Um, last thing I'm gonna do is put a little conditioner in his tail and comb it through, make sure there's no knots. So I'm just gonna get him a little wet. I'm just gonna, just a little bit of conditioner. I'll put it in my hand, or actually I'll squirt it right on there for you so you can see. What I'll do is I'll just work this through, starting at the top, and I don't know if you can see it, but there's so many flies around, and something that the horses use their tail for is fly swatting. Wouldn't that be nice? Just have a fly swatter. Alrighty, I'm just going to rinse all the conditioner out, but how funny that the horses use the same little comb that we use. So neat. Okay, so the last thing we get to do, which is my favorite, is we get to squeegee the horse. Check this out. All the water. So same with this. You want to start at the top and work your way down. And that's about it. I'm going to brush this a little bit, and we're going to go... Uh, let him graze in the sun and dry off, but he is squeaky clean, aren't you? He's so clean. Come on. Well, kids, that's all we got for you today at the King's Stables. Um, I'm so glad you got to come with me and meet the chickens and goats and give this guy a bath. Wasn't that so much fun? So um, let's head on back to the camp, and we've got a really cool art experience for you today, so we're going to go and check that out. See you there. You know what's really neat about horses? They like the same snacks that people like too. Do you know what they like to eat? Let's take a look. They like apples. They like watermelons. He's drinking the juice. They love to munch on carrots. But watch your fingers. They like peppermint. Can you hear the crunching? And some even like bananas. But they do need help peeling them. <laughs> Is that good? Isn't that wild? <laughs> wow, that was such a fun day. Thanks to King Stables for letting us come and check out their barn. I know you know that horses are my favorite, right? Well, do you think that you could draw a horse? Because I think I could teach you how. All right, kiddos. We are going to draw a horse in four easy steps. And I'm gonna draw it with you. First, you're gonna start with his ears up at the top. Horses have two ears. Then you're gonna draw its head. Next step is to add the neck two lines there for his neck and a line right there for his nose and on step three we're going to add this front little piece of hair his cute little bangs called a forelock and we're going to add his mane down the side of his neck 
And then for our last step, step four, we're gonna give him some cute eyes. Maybe he's looking over there at some food. Don't forget his nostrils. And just that line right there for his ear and you're done. Check this out. Your very own printable so you can do this at home. It's easy, there's just a couple steps. All you have to do is have a parent Click on the link in the description below and they can print this for you at home and then you can practice. If you like this adventure, give me a thumbs up. And if you don't want to miss out on the next one, subscribe to the channel. Thanks kids, I hope you enjoyed today at the camp and we see you next time. Don't forget to be polite and always use good manners. Bye. Bye.